afternoon. Uh, welcome to the afternoon session. What we will do is uh, maybe do a problem or two from psychrometric processes. So, you will see that these uh, handouts are already given to you um, in last week and uh, another two problems in compressible flow and we will give you a general outline of what we are doing and uh, uh, we can go ahead with this. Um, so, I have put on this uh, sheet on psychrometric processes um, and problem 1, I mean I can read out a system containing moist air at a dBT of 30 degrees. So, I will just write dBT of 30 degrees okay, and um, the dew point is 20 degrees. And uh, two questions have been asked, what happens if P total that is the system pressure is 1 atmosphere and if it is 0 0.9 bar. So, based on these two pressures what we need to find out is uh, omega R H, uh, H and V. So, these are the quantities that need to be found out. So, uh, the total pressure has been given 1 atmosphere and 0.9 bar just to ensure that you just do not go ahead and look at the psychrometric chart. Okay. Rather than that you would rather look at the steam tables. Okay. So, what you can do now is uh, once you know the dew point temperature okay, as I said you can find out the saturation pressure at the dew point temperature and uh, that is what is needed to get P V. So, let me just go to the next page here okay, and redraw my T S diagram. Okay, I am on some pressure line here and the temperature is given as 30 degrees C. So, this is the 30 degrees C line okay. and if I cool at the same P V I reach this saturation point. So, this overall is the 20 degrees C line. So, what I need is the saturation pressure here and that is very straightforward. I just have to go to the steam tables and I will not project the steam tables. I will ask all of you to go to the steam tables that have been that you may have and uh, what we can do is uh, go to the temperature part of the steam tables okay, and at various temperatures the saturation pressure would be given. So, if I look at the saturation pressure at 20 degrees C it is 0 0.0233 9 bar. So, this is the saturation pressure uh, that is given at 20 degrees centigrade. So, that means the P V here is 0 0.2339 bar and uh, I can express this in Pascal or I can express this uh, in uh, mm of mercury, but I wish should express it in a consistent unit. So, what we will do is right now stick to Pascal's. So, if I just multiply this number by 10 raise to 5, okay, I will get my answer in Pascal's. So, this would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2, 3, 3, 9 Pascal's. So, what I will now do is if I need omega, it is very straightforward. Okay, we need 0 0.622. P V upon P total minus P V. Okay. So, now depending on the total pressure this will either be 1 atmosphere or it will be 0 0.9 bar okay, or 90,000 Pascal and this would be 1.01325 into 10 raise to 5 Pascal. So, the moment I have the dew point temperature the P V gets fixed 
okay, irrespective of the total pressure the PV gets fixed and what I really need to find out omega is what the total pressure is. So, if the total pressure is different I get a different omega and that is what is needed. So, I can get omega like this. Now, if I want the relative humidity, okay, relative humidity is just P V by P V sat and P V sat is to be calculated at 30 degrees C. So, again we go to the steam table, go to the temperature part of the steam table and we see that P V sat at 30 degrees C is 0 0.04246 bar or 4246 Pascal. So, this is just the ratio of um, 2339 upon 4246. So, this is how you would get your relative humidity. Again, it depends on the dry bulb temperature and P V and you will realize it has nothing to do with the total pressure at this time. And uh, the next thing you would require is specific enthalpy H is uh, again C P of dry air into T, T is 30 degrees and this we will express in kilo joules 1.005 kilo joule per kilogram Kelvin and then we will add omega. Now, you realize that you have two values of omega one at one atmosphere and one at 0 0.9 bar and I will get 2501 plus 1.88 which is the C p for water vapor into T and this is 30 degrees C. So, the only difference here in the calculations is in the omega which is different for these two different pressure and uh, that will change. So, because this is calculated on per kg dry air basis, okay, so how much omega is being carried per kg dry air is entirely dependent on the total pressure because the total pressure will determine what is the partial pressure of dry air and hence you know, the amount of water vapor per kilogram of dry air changes. And finally, if I want specific enthalpy, again this is per kg of dry air okay, and we said we will just say P dry air V dry air is equal to M dry air R dry air into T, T is 30, this is universal gas constant by 29, this we take as 1 kg. And, uh, and also you have to this somewhere is now going to be calculated as P minus P V and you will have two values if P is one atmosphere you get a different value for pre dry air and if P is uh, 0 0.9 bar you get a different value for P dry air. In both cases P V is the same, but P dry air changes okay, and uh, the specific volume would be just R dry air into T upon P dry air that we need to calculate. So, this is how we would use only the steam tables and go ahead. So, in I will just go ahead with the second problem too and in this case various things are given either the temperature is given with omega or the temperature is given with WBT or the temperature is given with R H and the temperature is given with the dew point temperature. Now, the temperature given with dew point temperature is exactly the same as what we did in problem 1. I use the dew point temperature, get P sat at dew point temperature from steam table, which means I know P V, which means I know omega. Once I know omega, I can get H and dry bulb temperature, I will get uh, the P sat at dry bulb temperature and using this, I will calculate R H because this is just P V upon P sat at temperature. So, I get all properties of essence that I need to calculate. Now, if I have T and relative humidity, 
okay what it means is i can using t i can get p sat at t so yeah, i will use relative humidity because it just give me gives me pv by p sat so pv will be just relative humidity as a fraction multiplied by p sat once i know pv i can get omega and once i get no omega i can get h so i know everything again similarly t and wbt i will use the carrier equation i will use the dry wet bulb temperature to get p sat at wet bulb temperature again i'll use the steam table substitute and get my pv actual once i know pv actual i know omega i know h and using t i know pv sat and hence i get get relative humidity if i am given t and omega i will use the relation between omega and pv and get pv i can directly get using t and omega what is the enthalpy and using t i will get pv sat and with these two ratios i will now get my relative humidity so given any combination here i would be able to get my necessary quantities and go ahead and this is what is required when you we do the other problems forward so i hope once this is straight forward and you have the simple mixing formula uh, we can go ahead so i will leave it to professor puranik to solve a problem or two regarding uh, compressible flows and then we can take further questions on any of these thank you